Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today's video is going to be on a different sort of a palette, not an eyeshadow palette. All the videos which I have done so far on this channel have been on eyeshadow palettes. But this channel is a place for palette reviews and I will be reviewing different kind of palettes and that's what we are going to do today. Today I'm going to talk about this palette from Benefit. This is the Browsing palette and Browsings I think. Browsings Pro palette and I'm going to show you how I have done my brows with this palette. I am really really loving this palette and I wanted to share my thoughts on this palette. So if you guys are interested in a brow product then please do continue watching this video. So my favorite kind of brow products have always been brow pencils. The Nabla Brow Divine is one of my holy grails. This is what I use most of the time and the ABH Brow is in the shade Ebony is another favorite which I use as well. But since I found Nabla Brow Divine which is much less expensive than the abh brow is this is around 20 uh, singapore dollars i buy it from beauty bay i just uh, forgot about abh brow is and since the brow product is something which i use almost every single day just maybe on the weekend if we are not going out other than that i use it almost every single day so i go through these pretty quickly so in a month i would say i probably use up like two brow pencils and uh, when it's $20 a pencil it does add up so I felt like a brow palette would be a really really good investment uh, so that's why I purchased this Benefit Brow Zings Pro Palette just to try it out and see if I really like the idea of a brow palette I am a brow pencil girl I love the convenience of a brow pencil definitely this is more quicker and I do have one on hand just for those very quick days but on most of the days the, these days I am using the brow palette so that I don't you know go through these pencils over and over again okay so let's look at the palette so this is how the palette looks like the benefit brow zings pro palette you have all the instructions behind there are four brow powders three waxes and there are two dual ended brushes as well this is the one which is medium deep for medium deep brow hair so if you are hair is close to my hair shape uh, shade then you can go for this one this has deeper shades of brow products this one i don't remember how much it retails for probably around the 50 dollar mark when you see it at the first instant you may feel like it's expensive but considering you won't go through this as quickly as your brow products i think this is very very economical and uh, there was a time i didn't think brow palettes existed for my kind of brow hairs because whenever i've seen brow palettes like this especially at the drugstore they are just for lighter hairs so i am happy that i finally found one which is good for my hair okay so this palette comes in a tin packaging like this it's really really cute very handy very travel friendly as well you can slip it in your purse and you can carry it around uh, it's going to be like very sturdy it has a nice closure as well it doesn't open very easily it has a nice sized mirror here and there is a plastic sheet as well uh, it has all the shade names on top there are two dual ended brushes like this the brushes are very nice so these are the brushes which i am using these days with the brow palette and these are all the products in here so these are the three waxes which you get a deeper brown kind of a shade ashy black shade like a deep grayish ash shade this is a clear wax and four different powders so if you have hair close to my then this palette is just perfect for you and i also like that this palette has different shades as well so in case uh, anybody from your family also wants to use it and their hair is a little bit different or a friend wants to use it they will be able to use it as well this is a pro palette so makeup artists can use it as well on their clients and i love that this one comes uh, with the wax and the powders in uh, one place uh, so you don't have to buy a pomade separately and powder separately everything is in one place and you can uh, use in combination or you can use just the wax or just the powders or both the things together so in today's video i'm going to show you how i have created my brows using uh, both the things together now about the formulation i think the formulation is great the clear wax is uh, very helpful for just doing some natural brows just uh, putting some wax clear wax on your eyebrows and putting a little bit of 
powder and get a natural brow so i really like the consistency of the clear wax and the pigmented waxes are also really good quality they are creamy but they are not too creamy they have that wax like texture and uh, they will not slip and slide when you apply it on the brow they are going to stay there and they are not very creamy so they do not blend away so i love that how pigmented and how uh, waxy but not too waxy how creamy but not too creamy they are so they are perfect consistency which i like and the powders are really nicely pigmented but not overly pigmented uh, that you will be able to build up the color so i think this is a great great brow palette before i go on to the demo let me quickly show you the swatches so i swatch the waxes first so this is the brown one which can be used on a little bit of a light brown uh, deeper brown hair and then you have the deeper one which is perfect for my kind of hair and the clear one i don't know if i have to show you guys it's clear i mean you won't be able to see anything so it's a clear clear wax these are the waxes see how they slide so you can see they apply very smoothly there is no skipping uh, and the pigmentation is great as well let me quickly show you the four powders as well so this one is the deeper one which i use ow 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 my finger just got caught in the palette and it has a really strong magnetic closure so just be very very careful don't get your finger stuck inside the tin okay it hurts a bit anyway so here is the deeper one which i use especially for this part of the eyebrows this is what i use the deeper one then you have a shade which is a little bit lighter which also works great for me then you have another one which is a little bit less lighter and then you have a lighter one if you have lighter hair then also this is going to work so look at that lighter one so these are the four shades of the brow powder so all the colors they are super nicely pigmented very smooth powders and they apply just amazingly well so here are the shades one more time according to the sheet which is right here i'll just uh, tell you the name of the shades so this is warm black brown this one is a cool soft black this one is a clear wax this one is cool black brown cool dark brown warm medium brown and warm light brown okay so those are the descriptions as mentioned in the palette okay so i think now let's go ahead and see the demo and see how i apply these products onto my brows to get this look okay guys so let's get started with the demo so i have my full face of makeup on haven't done my brow so i will do one side and show you what a difference brows can make and just ignore my hair because i've just somehow kept them together so here is the palette the browsing palette in medium deep it comes with a very cool instruction sheet so it has four styles of brows which you can do uh, the instructions are right here so i think it's very handy so uh, there are four styles which you can do one at the back so you can do a naturally beautiful brows in which you can apply the clear wax and then fill in with a powder that matches your brow hair then you can do soft and full brows where you can just uh, use two shades of powder and fill in your brows to give them a little bit more dimension then we have defined brows in which you are just using the wax and filling up your brows uh, they are not using any sort of powder product in here so you'll get more defined brows and then you have bold brows in which you are using both wax and powder and creating a bolder look you can also use different shades of uh, the powder and create a more defined bolder look so there are different ways in which you can play around with the shadows or the eye uh, brow products which are there in this so i am going to go with the bold brows today uh, usually i apply this one like a soft brow using only the powders probably two shades sometimes just one but to show you how i do the wax and the powder together i am going to do the bold brow so that i can show you all the things in here so let's go into the palette uh, the brushes in the palette are very handy i use them and i also have my own brush which i will be using as well so here is my own brush this is from sonia keshak this brush has an angle to it at one end and a spoolie at the other end really really love this brush comes in very handy 
okay so first of all uh, I think I'm gonna do this side of my brows so first of all I'm gonna take this wax uh, I think this goes very well with my brow hairs and I'll just I'll use the brush which they have given the, the mirror also comes in very handy so I'm gonna use this wax and just define the brows first and this is the angled brush which I'm gonna use both of the angled brushes they are for the waxes so one side you can keep for the clear maybe and the other which you can use for the colored ones so I'll do a little bit of definition here they don't like melt away when you apply so I really like the texture so here what I'm doing I'm defining the shape of the brow just with a little bit of definition you will see a difference okay and then towards the end as well here I have missed a little spot I'll define here okay and for the bottom I will also use the same brush and define a little bit here now it will all depend on the kind of brow you have I will define just a little bit I will not take it to inwards because the front part of my brow I like to keep it more feathery and light so I will take a little bit of the wax and make some strokes here like this at this point I like to take my other brush and just brush up my brow hairs up so you can see already with the definition it gives such a nice structure to the brows now I will fill in with the powders so I'm taking the other brush now this other brush which is there is more of a flattish brush and this is good for the powders so the powders which I most of the time use now I'm going to use these two shades okay so this one will go in the front so I'll just make strokes like this and fill it in okay I also like to come with my other spoolie and you can also use this spoolie so this will give a nice well defined look and you have already placed the wax so the powder is going to stick to the wax and the brows are going to stay in place they are not going to budge next I will take the deeper color deeper color is not also like very black it's like a darkened gray so it matches my brow hairs very nicely so I'll just go over the wax set the wax and then whatever is left extra I will fill it wherever I feel I have sparse hair then at the end I will brush the spoolie up okay it's that simple it hardly took probably if I do it without the video I will take three to four minutes only not more than that maybe even less than that and look at the definition which I've got and look what a difference the brows make to the face if your brows are done I think the whole makeup look comes together yeah that's how I do my brows using the bold brows technique if I have to do that naturally I'll just use the soft brows which is just using the powders I will not use the wax so it will give a more softer look so yeah I hope this demo is helpful okay guys final thoughts I think this palette has been the find of the year I never thought that I will like an eyebrow palette I always felt they were a little bit too complicated they are going to take a lot of time but trust me once you get the hang of it it's very very quick they hardly take any time and I'm also super happy on how much money I have saved this year on eyebrow pencils seriously I mean this palette is a game changer for me and I think it's totally worth the money and I will totally recommend it so that's it guys that's it for today's video I hope this video was helpful and you learned something new today if you like this video then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel lot more palette reviews coming up so stay tuned thank you so much for watching today I will see you again really soon in my next video bye